hello there, people of the internet. So I've been down to Beckenham Junior Choir and Youth Voices again recently to do some interviews with them because I was interested to find out what it was like for them to do my Lion Opera earlier this year. And I thought it'd be fun in this week's vlog to show you some of that footage. One of the things I asked them was what it was like when they found out that they were going to be doing an opera for the first time, and then how their perception of what an opera was changed during the course of the project. So here they are in their own words. Really confused. I thought it would be like an opera, like, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought too. I was kind of worried when he said it was an opera, I was just like, I can't hold high notes for very long. Panis Angelicus, that's what I thought of, or church choirs or something like that. Um, we all thought it was wonderful and we were all slightly uh, amazed at the idea that we would have an opera, but also that we were going to be able to uh, bring it about in six months to make it actually happen. Not Donkeys. No, I didn't think of donkeys, but I thought opera. Opera is such an elevated art form in my perception, certainly of it, um, that you would never dare to imagine being part of it from the beginning to the end and create something new. I was like, how are we supposed to do that? You can't expect this of us. I'm too young to do this. But it was more like a panto. It, it was had a yeah. panto it was feel about it. Yeah. It's more musical than an opera. Um, operas usually have quite a lot of loud singing, while musicals are more like people with microphones singing. I think the story felt quite operatic. I, I think the music felt operatic as well, actually. Um, it didn't just felt like a, it didn't really feel like a sing-along. I mean, maybe f from having to learn all the songs, it didn't feel like a sing-along. They weren't just tunes that we could pick up just like that. And I think that higher sort of uh, achievement, I guess, in the end, made it feel much more like an opera than a musical. When I first heard about it, <clears throat> like Rachel said, I thought, if you can't sing that, you're not going to be able to do it. I thought I'd have to play a tree or something because I can't <laughs> sing like that. And I didn't realise like it could be like it was and it could have humour in it and it could be suited to lots of different voices. You could still do the harmonies and stuff if like you're not got an operatic voice. There were a lot of laughs. And I, I by the first... The first few jokes, I was a bit tense, and I was like, oh, is no anybody going to laugh? But by the third, fourth, fifth joke, I was really getting into it, and I was like, oh, are there no more dukes? Hi. Hi. What kind of animal are you? I'm a lion, a big cat. You don't look very big. I'm still growing. What do you do around here? I do all the heavy lifting, plus I provide a much needed female presence around here. So I think it was a real eye-opener because, you know, you don't see opera very often as a rule, as in, you know, in the general population, it's not something that we do see that frequently. The whole project, not just the music, but the how we brought it all together, made people realise that it involved everybody. So it isn't, necess it isn't a necessarily an esoteric thing, it can be something that draws everybody in and that everybody can enjoy and, in, and all ages were involved in it and all ages could enjoy it. It was, like, it was satisfying. Satisfying. I know it was just like because when people laugh and clap, it's like, oh, well, we knew that we did a good job. Having you know, done it, it sort of demystifies it, and at the same time, it it doesn't because it's still you know, an incredibly ambitious project. It was fun to do because I've never done that before. I've always thought that would be good fun to do, but I didn't didn't ever expect to ever have the opportunity to direct something. There's gonna be a prequel. That's a sequel. posh word for a sequel. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to the channel because I do one of these composing vlogs every Sunday night. I hope you got that. Every Sunday. So hit the subscribe button and I will see you next Sunday night. I hope you remember to cut out all these bits and you're like, oh like no. Like your toes, for instance. This is exactly the fun stuff that I will do. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs>